It's Richard checking out another device here with you. This is definitely for MacMod lovers, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy that. Um, well, <laughs> this was sent to me from a company in China. This is a clone, okay? Uh, from a company which is one of the biggest uh, e-cig online stores in China. They're called Sigabyte.com. Got this at no cost for the purpose of this review, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at, the Vape Life Mechanical Mod. So, Vape Life Mechanical Mod, the reason why I say Mechanical Mod, because I do know that is a collector's edition where, you know, the actual authentic version uh, came out with about 500 boxes or rather pieces of it, it comes in a box, and uh, it's very nice, but I'm not sure how it looks like, they've got the, I think the copper version as well, together with the stainless steel top cap and things like that, but basically, it's a hybrid mod, okay, it's a sleek and clean looking design, Again, I just want to stress again, this is a clone version. It's got a three-post design made of stainless steel in there. However, there are no post holes. So how you want to trap the wires is, well, good old-fashioned, old-school days where you just wrap the wire around the screw, you know, and screw it down. That's the way to do it. And uh, that's what we're going to be looking at. Silver-plated brass contacts in there. Mine is just brass. It doesn't have the silver-plated. Uh, but on the website, it states that. Spring-loaded firing switch, yes, and it doesn't have a locking ring because it's recessed and that means you can place it on your table, it's not going to fire off or anything. Let's get a vape out of it and then we'll hit the close-ups immediately. It fires pretty well. Come back, we'll talk some more. So this is how the uh, clone version of the Vape Life Mechanical mod comes in. Package in a box like that, pretty nice presentation box and it says made in china at the back you must be over 18 years old to use it and on top you have the logo vape life you know, and things like that taking off the lid you have all the things in there your bag of spares little blue screwdriver o-ring screws philippine screws in case you lose yours or rather misplace yours you have all three tubes 18350 18490 or 18500 and 18650 comes with your firing switch here with a logo on it. Let's take them out one at a time and you have your hybrid gripper here. Also we're going to remove them. Comes with a drip tip as well which is kind of nice with a logo on it. We'll get up closer shortly. You have a little 18350 tube here with a top cap on top. Everything comes packaged like that with a uh, plastic seal. In fact all these as well which I've removed them. Uh, sorry remove them and uh, put them aside. I was testing it for a while so let's check them out all three tubes and put the box aside. Okay so here we have all the different tubes and parts okay so let's take the uh, 18650 because that's what I'm going to be testing it with. Short. All right so here we have them and you can see the logo not very deep but it looks like it's laser etched on it. Uh, you've got the uh, Vape Live logo here and on top it says Vape Live and it, at the bottom you have a serial number very lightly etched on it as well 1602 that's the uh, number here which doesn't mean anything of course and you have the stainless steel tube very nice brushed finish and the threading looks good the 18490 tube here same thing you can just push it out this is your 18490 tube Taking a look at it, and uh, you have got your logo there, sure enough, and also Vape Life, the Vape Life logo, and your serial number. This one is 1344. So, all three tubes come with different serial numbers, and uh, yeah, it, they're definitely fake numbers and doesn't mean a thing. Okay, so you have your th um, threading there as well, and this is your 18350 tube, okay. Push. and out comes the cover the plastic wrapper also the logo there as you can see pretty nice job with the uh, machining of the tube as well and this one is 2436 this is in 18 uh, 350 mode it comes with a top cap so this top cap actually gives you the option of using your own 
um, what do you call atomizer, whether it be RDA or RTA. This is the bottom section, we'll come to that shortly, let you have a better look at it. But right now, let's put it back. So, in case you want to have your own ATI on it, all you got to do is just, as usual, you have your air channels here in case your atomizer needs uh, air from being fed from the bottom. And uh, there you go, you can actually adjust this to the back. All right, so once it sits flush, adjust it back, put it, push it back in, and there you go. That's how the contact is. And you have your tube in there, put in your switch. That is how it looks like, together with my Joytech Delta 2. Let's take a look at the other tube, which is, I'm going to bring out the 18350 tube, uh, sorry, 650 tube here. And you have a hybrid dripper right here. So this dripper goes in like this, together with a uh, drip tip that's provided also. It's got the uh, logo laser etched on it, Vape Life logo. Pretty big bore that narrows down to a smaller bore at the bottom there. Yeah. push it in have your let's remove this firing switch put it aside 18650 hybrid mode with your dripper looking kind of slick as well very nice let's take a look at the uh, firing switch to start with and we're gonna put this aside firing switch very simple design just like all your other mechanical mods with a Delrin piece around to prevent short all you got to do to remove it let's see turn it anti-clockwise and your top screw comes up this is brass it's supposed to be a uh, brass silver plated which is what is being said in the website but not mine mine is just brass so it doesn't matter and you have your spring in here that's the spring which is Kind of solid, kind of thick spring, which is pretty strong actually. All right, so you need a little bit more force than your usual springs, which is kind of thin. That's it. All right, so you have it in there, and you have a battery venting hole there. In case your battery vents, so you just put it back in like this. This is your contact switch, contact screw. Screw it back down. There you go. All right. So next we want to look at is the uh, dripper, which is hybrid mode dripper, and uh, taking out the uh, drip tip here. Two O-rings to hold it down. You have the back portion. This can back it off to make contact with your battery. In case you have battery rattle, so you can just, oops, bring it out all the way. That's hard. You have a, a Delrin piece all around so that you don't get any short. And you just have to screw it back in. So you can actually screw it all the way in or bring it backwards. All right, like I said, for battery rattle. Only sad point, you're not going to be able to screw this into your so-called ohm checker in case you want to check your ohms it's all based upon what you know how many wraps is how many ohms you know uh, or you want to test it with a multi-tester okay. opening up the top cap you have the inside the deck that you have excuse my micro calls there I have a dual coil in there using 26 gauge and just take a look there are no post holes, if you notice, no holes there to trap your wires. Um, what I did was have my wire go in between the screw and the post here, right on top. Just wind it, and then after that, screw the um, Phillips screws down to hold it. And the screws are pretty large and flat at the bottom, so it's quite easy to actually um, just trap your wire there. All right, so this is your positive post. Your negative posts are milled into the deck, as you can see. 
you have a big insulator in the middle there on the positive post and I think the positive post is made out of copper or brass sorry most probably brass since it's brass here and you have quite a fairly deep juice well about four millimeters in depth okay at the side you have four cyclops star holes air holes one two three and four all right so you have four air holes all around they face right in front of your coil and this one as well so this allow you to do dual coil or quad coil okay so if you have a quad coil you make use of all the four holes and the thing with this with the cover once you put it in all four holes are open so there's no option for you to have a single air hole either you close everything up or you just open up all four but it's adjustable you can adjust the size of your air hole to how big you want that's it all right so let's open it up one single o-ring here and the bottom the other section where you have the top cap um, there's no dome there it's just flat on the top it might have a little bit of dome nope it's just a very slight dome at the top there so you have four holes lots of air holes there cyclops star air hole and the dirt pit once you put it in together with your firing switch at the bottom you have your logo there your vape life logo again lightning your ohm a mod and also cloud all right so we'll get back top side vape on it we'll talk some more so straight off the bat i'm going to tell you what i like and what i don't like about this and uh, first thing that i like about is the design itself how it looks sleek very clean design and you have the logo there you know like they say less is more so it's very simple very nice you know love the firing switch because it's not crunchy at all although the spring is pretty you know strong in there um, but you still can manage to use your middle finger and just press it in and it's not crunchy you can put it anywhere you like and it still fires although there's no locking ring in there you can put it on your table anywhere it's not going to fire off or anything like that um, it traps the wires pretty well there easy because the screws are quite big on top you just turn it once and then you screw it down and that's it although there are no post holes but still trapping the wire at least you know it's not going to snap your wire you know when you have post holes sometimes you put in your thin wires and you try to screw it down your know, 28 gauge and things like that they'll snap it but this one doesn't so some of the nice things that are like no big issues actually except for one the uh, contact pin on the uh, hybrid mode top cap there after you build it there's no way you're going to check your you know own uh, resistance unless you use a multimeter okay so you got to know how to use a multimeter to check the resistance of you know the build that you've done um, there are lots of other tutorials and YouTube where you can you know they teach you how to use a multimeter to check your resistance so also not a big issue of that would I recommend this to new vapors it depends I it depends on what level of rebuilding you're doing so but if you're just a really um, person who's new into vaping you might want to you know think of something else and uh, give this a pass first other than that uh, advanced uh, you know uh, vapors shouldn't have a problem with that when you want to do your build you know with the top gap and the contact pin at the bottom it's not like a 510 where it's threaded you can screw it onto an atomizer stand no you can't do that this one you got to screw it down onto your mod itself to work on the the wires and sometimes when you screw it down onto a mod you're trying to pin down your wire plop, the whole thing might just fall down and things like that so it's a little bit cumbersome but it's not a big issue uh, if you're uh, familiar with rebuildings and all that so it shouldn't be a problem to you that's it uh, oh yeah one last thing only dual coil four air holes there you can't have like a single coil with a single air hole so you gotta have your air holes four of them all opened up the cyclops style air holes there so it's not something to dislike but it's whether you, how much of airflow that you are used to if you if you like uh, big airflows then this is perfect for you okay we're going to take one more vape and uh, we call it a wrap
Nice. Until I talk to you again. Very safe. Catch you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.